Prince William has arrived in New York via a commercial flight for a two-day trip, with the Earshot Prize at the center of his short visit. The Prince of Wales appeared in high spirits as he said it was so good to be back in the States. He said, it's so good to be back in the United States. No one does optimism and ingenuity like the American people, so it's only right we unveil this year's Earthshot finalists in New York City. Eighty years ago, the world came together in this great city to find a new way, through the UN, to solve our shared challenges. I know our generation can take the bold action we need to make changes towards a healthy and sustainable world. The challenge may feel huge, but as John F. Kennedy taught us, we rise to the challenge not because it is easy, but because it is hard. And vital. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family The hilarious reason why Kate pretended to be William's girlfriend at university William waded into the Hudson River as he visited the Billion Oyster Project at the Liberty Landing Marina where he met executive director and co-founder of Billion Oyster Project, Keith Malinowski. He also met students volunteering and restaurateurs involved in the project which aims to restore oyster reefs to New York Harbor through public education initiatives. On Tuesday, the Royal will speak at the Earthshot Summit, where he will help announce the finalists for this year's Earthshot Prizes which award companies and projects focusing on climate solutions. This year's official ceremony will be held in Singapore on November 7. The Prince's official Twitter account also tweeted that William and his wife, Princess Kate are feeling optimistic about climate change. William will also meet privately with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and other global leaders during his 48-hour visit which is said to be heavily focused on the environment and climate change. A Kensington Palace spokesperson said, the Prince is very much looking forward to seeing the Secretary General and they are expected to speak about climate change and the environment as well as the innovative solutions that the Earthshot Prize is cultivating around the world. He is also scheduled to meet billionaire Mike Bloomberg New York's former mayor, who has already committed more than £16,1 million, $20 million to support previous Earthshot projects. But despite his first solo trip to the US, William is not expected to meet or speak about his younger brother, Prince Harry. Senior aides have made it clear he has no intention of speaking about his bitter rift with the Duke of Sussex, or any other distraction, during his first official solo US visit. The royal's visit to the U.S. comes after a Gallup poll ranked him most popular among 25 public figures in the news, well ahead of President Biden and former President Trump and even in front of Ukraine's widely admired President Zelensky, who came second.